Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. So in our last two sessions, we have been discussing about SAP Fiery apps only. And today also we'll explore some more features of SAP Fiery. Okay, so today we will see how to create one custom role for this Fiery access. So imagine that you see here every tile group has set of apps are allocated here. Okay, these and all standard catalogs provided by SAP only. Right? So here we can see under purchase order processing we have six apps are here. Right? And coming to purchase contract processing, we have three apps are here. But Suppose imagine that I want to give under this purchase contract processing, I want to give access to this app only to the end user. Manage purchase contracts. That user shouldn't access this other two, two titles or apps. Similar way, commit scheduling agreement processing. Here also I want to give access to, to, to this two only. Okay, not all the three here in such cases assigning the standard role to that end user profile won't fulfill the requirement we should definitely go ahead and create the custom roles and design that catalog and business groups to segregate the apps for which we would like to provide access to the end user so we need to create the custom roles okay so before that so before assigning that uh, create the custom roles we should know like uh, what is a catalog and what is business group okay so we should create this uh, Two, three, uh, two things before going to uh, create the roles. Okay, fine. Okay, first of all, what is catalog? In other words, we can say it is a fiery catalog. A catalog is a group of apps or tiles. You see here, a catalog is a group of tiles or apps or applications right so whichever the apps that we are going to provide an access to the end user those apps we can categorize and group it under the catalog that is the catalog here okay and coming to business group so business group is subcategory of an theory catalog so one business group can contains more than one theory catalogs doesn't mean that one to one no business group can contain more than one catalogs so you you might be confusing uh, what i'm trying to say here okay, let me discuss more about this in the system now okay let me log into system so now we are going to create the Fiery catalog and business groups. Finally, we will assign to that to the custom role. Okay, there is a T code available for this to access to design that uh, Fiery launchpad. Okay, that is UI2 slash FLPD underscore okay slash ui2 slash flpd underscore cust you see when i enter the t code it is asking me to give the permission allow or deny okay if i click allow system will open the link will be open in the browser as i said there are some issues with this link i will directly copy the link from my uh, notepad 
okay if you see here we have two things here catalog and groups right so what we will do first as i said we need to create the catalog first create the catalog then create the groups in the groups we should link their catalogs right okay under the catalog section first click this plus symbol here click this one so now we need to give the title for this catalog okay what i will do i will mention my name only okay tiru okay fine okay so i have mentioned the name here the title and this id okay so i will click save here now fine so now we have created the catalog as tiru3 right so now we need to add the apps here right we need to add the apps to this catalog how to add this means suppose i am going to okay let me if i okay i am in the free launchpad now i am going to look for an app that is manage sales order you know this is important uh, application which is specifically used by sap sd consultants and in this app we can see all the order data it's going to be a 05 only everything we can see for the order level okay we can monitor the orders you see this app is not available here and if i scroll down you see here one uh, catalog here is here catalog right sd ferry apps if i click this one so here also i don't see that app called manage sales order right so what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to add that app to this catalog okay so what i will do i will need to get the catalog the standard catalogs first right so i will type like uh, sales order and you see you see lot of entries here with sales order and if it is sales order processing you see here many sales orders this app is missing in this home screen of this my ferry launchpad that means this app not assigned to my roles that is the reason i don't see this app here so what i will do i will drag it i will hold this and drag it if i drag it i will get two options here create reference and delete if you delete this app means that is gone now okay we should do like this what we can do we can specify it under create reference okay fine so now it is asking under which catalog that i would like to assign this app so i will need such my catalog we have created what we have created tiru 3 you see so under this catalog i have assigned this one it is saying that reference for title manage sales orders created in the catalog tiru 3 right now let me search the catalog tiru 3 and you see here the app has been added to my newly created catalog okay the next thing what we need to do here is that we need to do the mapping okay okay it might be confusing or it might not be required for sap sd or abap consultants because this is purely security stuff only security team only will do all this uh, role assignment everything will be done by them only it's okay no problem in learning okay learning right so we we'll learn it okay so now we need to create the reference for this one okay so what we need to do now select this one okay not this one one second okay so you see here in the top you see target mapping right select this target mapping and if you scroll down this is our 
manage sales order app okay if i scroll up the object is sales order action is manage so you might ask how to identify this is that relevant for that app manage sales order okay it's very easy simple okay if i go to tiles and uh, if i click this manage sales orders and you can see here the semantic object is sales order and action is manage so with the help of these two parameters we can uh, identify the reference now right now again go to the target mapping and uh, select this one manage sales order and manage and in the bottom you see create reference click this one so now again search for tiru3 again okay this one and it is saying that reference for a tile created okay now i will search for tiru now and if i go to target mapping you see there is one entry added earlier no entry here you, we see no entry here so we need to map it so in the screen if i click any app what should happen right that is nothing but the mapping we should map it we should map it how that uh, uh, application should behave when you click that application in the feeder launch pad right that is that's the configuration that we have done now that's a mapping we have done right okay now this is the complete way of creating the fairy catalog or catalog now we will create the business group now in the top you see groups right click this groups again click this plus symbol give the title as tiru3 uh, you can give anything as per your uh, as you wish okay so give the title and the id then click save fine so you see it has been added now okay in the right side you see under show as styles we have one plus symbol here right click this plus symbol again click this one f4 search for tiru3 add this and now click plus symbol here so what what now we see the message here the manage sales orders added successfully go back and you see it has been added now similar way we can add n number of apps from n number of business catalogs sorry from feeder catalogs we can link it to business groups so one group can contain n number of apps from different catalogs we can keep on add it okay i will add only one as of now but you can explore it okay that's it now what we did we have completed creating the fairy catalog and business group as well in third step let's log into sap and create the roles custom role we'll create now and then we'll assign the custom role to the user profile okay if i go to the free launch pad i don't see the business catalog or sorry free catalog as tiru3 we don't see now after assigning this to the roles user roles okay then we can see that one okay let's let's do that now so access the t code pfcg okay this is security t code which will be used to create the custom roles okay okay i mentioned that uh, role name as uh, jed tiru3 and uh, click create single role again give the description and save it okay now go to the menu here you see different options here right description menu workflow 
authorizations right let's click menu now and you see the transaction right in that uh, drop down click this drop down and uh, look for this fairy catalog select this sap fairy tile catalog select this one and here under the catalog id add our catalog name here that is thiru3 click ok you see it has been added now similar way we should add the business group as well for that again click the same drop down icon and uh, this time select the other one sap fairy tile group same name we need to give here because we have kept the same name for catalog and business group uh, it's not found one second let me check that okay id is thiru now sorry i should search for thiru now fine i have added now okay now that is done role has been added now with the fairy catalog and fairy business groups then i will add this roles to the user under user tab add this user my user is dhiru and now click enter you see it is valid validity from today's date till 31st december 199999 okay let me save this one now that's it that has been saved now so now what i will do i will go to this fear launchpad designer and i will refresh this one okay it is loading okay fine if i click this uh, down arrow you see the new catalog or business group what we have created has came here thiru3 if i click this one you see the app manage sales order okay similar way if i search the app now we will get the app manage sales order you see it came here earlier before adding this roles and all at that time when when did we when did we search it we get nothing no data found or no app identified right but after adding everything we can see we are getting suggestions the app is available right so this is how we should create that catalog and business group then provide the relevant access of an fairy apps to the end user okay this is an additional knowledge if you have it it's not a mandatory but it's for our learning purpose only okay friends that's it from this video we can catch up in the next video Bye for now.